Hello and welcome to Avid Shiksha. This is daily news capsule analysis. These are the topics for today. That is 3rd January 2023. We'll begin with the first one. The first one is Supreme Court's verdict on demonetization. Overall, the news is on the validity of demonetization in 2016. Here two things are important for the analysis. One is the type of Supreme Court bench who gave the verdict. In this case, it is a five-member bench. Now what are Supreme Court bench or benches? Supreme Court benches are created by the Chief Justice of India to hear cases forwarded to the court. Usually most cases are heard by two or three judges bench, which is called a division bench. But priority cases may need five or more judges like in this case this is a five member bench so this type of benches are constitution bench now the news says that the bench gave a verdict that the demonetization is valid under the section 26 2 in the reserve bank of india act now what is this section 26 2 which is the other part from this analysis Section 26.2 in the Reserve Bank of India Act 1934 mentions that on the recommendation of the Central Board of RBI, the central government may declare any series of bank notes of any denomination to be legal tender. So this was the section 26.2. In this news, we can just focus on the type of bench that gave the verdict and the other one is the section 26.2 of the Reserve Bank of India. This will help you in prelims and also in preparing notes for your mains. Let's proceed to the next news. Here it is talking about the wall of peace. This wall of peace was designed and I mean created by Suresh K. Nair who is an assistant professor at Banaras Hindu University. He and along with his students, they created a beautiful mural in a government school in Palakkad district of Kerala. So this is in commemoration of 100 years of the school. You can see the picture here. This is Suresh K. Nair. Because of this, painting or because of this design the project the art project won the Eurasia world record for the longest public art project the wall is 700 feet long so it it has a world record and the theme for the murals on the wall was inspired from the freedom struggle both India and the local freedom struggle then one of the most interesting features of the of this wall is that the peace word the word peace is written in 250 languages from the from the country and from the world so this is all about the wall of peace that opened in kerala let's proceed to the next one the third news is online games under it rules so the Electronics and Information Technology Ministry revealed a proposal that is trying to bring online games, particularly the betting games that involves real money under the ambit of IT rules. You can see here, this is the rule. So this is in same, in same line with uh, regulation of streaming services and digital news site. This is just a proposal. However, in future, we might see these rules becoming an act also. The next news is on the limit delimitation exercise by Assam. Here, we just have to understand what is the concept of delimitation. This is important for your mains particularly. Here, we see what is delimitation. The definition is given here. And then 
why now why the exercise was held uh, this year in assam rather earlier or not in future we can see that they have the they have tried to initiate this exercise in a couple of years ago but then due to security reasons security risk uh, it was put on hold now who does this exercises this is very important because um, it comes in certain questions it might just ask like is it assam government or is it someone else it is definitely the election commission of india that is doing the delimiting exercises you just have to go browse through the news once go in a brief don't go so much in detail don't go into the political side of the news just refrain yourself from the political parties uh, theories or opinions just focus on what is the concept of the limitation and why is it in exercise let's move on to the next this is the final news now uh, this is on soiladhar borua awards now who was this soiladhar borua person soiladhar borua was a uh, eminent producer from the sms film industry who died on 10 january 2010 so in his memory the soiladhar borua memorial trust was created to honor his work his life and this trust organizes the soiladhar borua awards this is the fifth edition and one khasi movie called yuda has been judged the best film the award will be given in january 10 at jyoti chitrabon film studio that is in kahili para guwahati and we might know about soiladhar borua from his movie he produced in 1988 that movie is halotia sorai baudhan khai so uh, this can be asked in terms of personality question for your apsc prelims i hope you enjoyed this session we are definitely bringing new content for you easily and very systematically done for you so that you don't have any tough time in analyzing the news so thank you for watching see you soon